Did you know that the average grocery store carries around 38,000 different food items for sale? That's a lot to choose from and a lot to navigate through. What's up beautiful people? My name is Bo Skitsko. Welcome to the Stay Sore channel. Today, we're gonna talk about tips and tricks on how to make your trip to the grocery store, your food shopping, the healthiest possible. Let's get started. These are all just my advice, not professional nutrition advice, just how I feel about it. A lot of times when my clients here in my gym come in and say, ah, oh, I messed up yesterday. Yesterday evening we were watching TV and I started eating potato chips and compromising my healthy eating. My response is usually, oh no, who is this evil person putting potato chips into your cabinets? So the first tip I'm gonna give you, and this is common sense, is plan ahead of time. Failing to plan is planning to fail. You know that you're gonna eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so therefore, prepare for it. Have an idea of your meals, put your ingredients on a list on paper or on your phone, go to the grocery store with a plan not getting distracted from what you need and buying only the things that you need. And if you have a list but still don't trust yourself, there's so many different apps now where you put in the ingredients and they will be delivered to your doorstep so you don't even have to waste time or rely on your willpower not to get those snacks that are so easily displayed right in your face. Eat me, eat me, eat me, I'm delicious, two for one. So the second tip is gonna be even more common sense. Never shop on an empty stomach. When you're hungry, you're gonna have very, very weak willpower. And all those cookies, chips, snacks, candy are going to feel and look so much more delicious. When Jesus was fasting for 40 days in the desert, what was the first temptation the devil gave him? Bread. Why? Because when you're hungry, Food items are the most tempting. So the tip is eat first, then go shopping, because when you have a full tummy, you're probably not gonna look at snacks like you would look at them when you're hungry. All right, my tip number three is shop the perimeter. And I'm once again, pretty sure you heard this before. Shop the perimeter, why? Because usually all the processed, not so healthy food is inside in the aisles and you wanna go outside and shop the perimeter where the real food is. Your fresh fruits and vegetables, your real meat, not the lunch meat, the real meat and fish and all the real products that are actually food and not the plastic packaged foods that are inside the store. All right, tip number four is choose seasonal products. Why is that important? Because number one, you're always gonna have the freshest product. There's a time for oranges and then there's a time for cherries. Whatever is in season is gonna be the freshest product. And you might actually save some money because the second half of that season, the products are going to slowly start going bad and the store is gonna drop the prices so people buy it quicker. So save money, stay fresh, and there's something to say about your body being adapted to the season and needing the foods of this particular season. This is good for grocery shopping in the store as well as farmer's markets. And my last and final tip, number five, the one that when I say it out loud, you might get anxiety, is read the label. Probably the most important one, read the label. You are what you eat, so you better don't eat garbage. Here's the deal, reading label, there's a lot of nuances, but I'm gonna give you a few tips that makes it simple and straightforward. The most important thing is you probably want to avoid processed foods. So when you read the label, underneath there's other ingredients, read through that and try to stay somewhere inside of five ingredients or less. That means it's not that bad for you, right? It's just general guidelines. There's exceptions for it, of course, but five ingredients or less is usually a good idea. Stay away from words that you don't understand, can't pronunciate, and they sound too complicated. Stay away from hashtags and numbers. Why? Well, let's just say all of them are petroleum-based. I'm not sure you want to put petroleum inside your body, but the other thing is, most countries in the world, or a lot of countries in the world, are banning them. They're not banned here in the US, 
but a lot of countries are banning them for a reason. So hashtags and numbers, big no-no in my personal, very humble opinion. And let's say you read the amount of proteins, carbs, and fats. Another good idea, maybe look at the sugars. And if it's double digits, maybe you shouldn't have it. Guys, I hope you got something out of this episode. If anything, my goal is to just make you think, and I hope I did that. I have so many more videos on reading labels, understanding ingredients. I'll post some down below in the description of the video. Or if you like it, like, comment, send this to your mom. I'll see you in the next one. Stay sore, peace out. Hey, you're still here. If you were wondering what I was holding in my hand in the thumbnail of the video, well, it was a carrot. Why? because I like to snack on something crunchy when I have movie night at home. And that's my bonus tip. Eat the rainbow. Each color has different vitamins, which means eating the rainbow, different colored fruits and vegetables, gives you a natural multivitamin. See you in the next one.